anticipate consumer needs by really observing consumers, talking to consumers, understanding what they see as issues within their vehicle, and then we develop uh, topics that emerge and we focus on how do we solve those issues or create more value for, for the products for the consumer. We're looking at a couple different things. One is we're trying to understand what people care about when they buy a car, but more importantly, what they're gonna care about during the life of the vehicle. And we actually look uh, not only what they tell us, we're also looking at what they do. We always wanna strive to provide surprise and delight in the products in our OEM's vehicles. OEMs and suppliers should work together very early in the process to redefine the automotive interior. By doing so, we can create breakthrough innovation and new value opportunities for the end consumer. What we try to do is when we put a vision property out is you know, have a topic that we can start a conversation with our OEM customers in terms of what do they think about this, uh, this concept or this vision, you know, what are their thoughts, what do they see as weaknesses, strengths, um, what is the direction they would like to take with it. Porcia focuses on vision properties so that we can create a dialogue with our customers. That dialogue is incredibly important because it, it helps to take our innovations and, and move those towards commercializations. The sooner OEMs and suppliers can work together, whether it's on co-innovation or, or simply just talking about products and process, the stronger those end products can be for the consumer. We have to, to have that dialogue early so that they can start to define their package and, and integrate our innovations that can create more value for the end consumer. If you think about cars overall, that's what a car does. Uh, a car is a convenience product. Comfort at Forsia means the elimination of discomfort. And we're doing quite a bit of work where we are looking at uh, the physiological causes of discomfort, where we're looking inside the body. It's about the connectivity that's happening in the marketplace. Everywhere consumers go today, they want to be connected. Design in the future for automotive interiors, when you think about new materials, new opportunities to create smart interiors, um, taking technology, embedding those in unique features with an interior creates many opportunities to create value for the end consumer. We imagine a future where the seat will uh, react automatically to your uh, emotional state, your physical state, and provide kinematic functions or heating and cooling functions or massage functions based on your present state of mind and anticipating uh, future driving conditions or stressful situations. You want to know that your car is a safe place and, and that the guys that built your car thought of everything. One of the things that we did with pret porte which actually means ready to wear in the fashion industry, is we applied that to the automotive space. And what we did is we took premium level craftsmanship and quality and have brought it to the mass market. So that when you get into a, any vehicle in the marketplace, you have that touch of elegance, that touch of premium within your vehicle. The performance seat is a great example of two breakthrough innovations, the composite seat back and the compliance shell comfort system. When you put those together, we can de decrease the width of the seat and we can give that back to uh, the end consumer that creates a tremendous opportunity for new packaging and reduce the overall packaging and weight for our consumers. SmartFit is a great example of identifying uh, consumer trends um, and then applying it to our products. Smartphones are now ubiquitous in society. Everyone's got one. Um, so we thought, how can we take the smartphone and make our seat more intelligent? And how can we allow the consumer to be an active participant in their, their seat fitting? And that's where SmartFit comes in. Mm -hmm.